Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? This is Agassicles Stamens from GearWorks.com and the E2KG Network Podcasting Channel on YouTube, as well as as well as here, the Riding Off Infinity Gaming Channel on YouTube. This is year geez, four of a ten-year mission to video log and video diary my gaming experience, chronicling the my life and times as a gamer for. A decade of gaming, the years 2015 through 2025. We're going to be getting started tonight with some more The Division 2, my current jam. Uh, Ubisoft seems to be becoming more and more my favorite publisher. They seem to always have uh, what, what winds up being my favorite game of the year. Um, as my favorite game last year wound up being Far Cry 5. Favorite game does not necessarily mean what I felt was the best game that I played last year. But it's the one that tends to keep me coming back and going. Although, with the recent announcements of Destiny 2 from yesterday, uh, there's definitely going to be a knockdown, drag out fight for my attention for the remainder of 2019. But this is another episode of An Accounting of Third Measures. This is episode number 423 for Friday night, the 7th of June in this year of our gaming 2019. I'm going to do a couple more pre-flight checks to verify that we got good voiceover commentary coming out on the live stream and check the audio mix balance and then we'll be getting started proper here in just a few seconds. It's pretty relaxing just to be standing watch like this. So voice, so voiceover commentary sounded a tad bit loud, so I tuned it down a little bit. Hopefully uh, the mix balance works out okay. But uh, we will go ahead and get started. I'll come back and check that a little bit later. Hope everybody's doing alright tonight. Getting started a good bit late. That seems to always be the case. Uh, in the past, I have done my walkthrough of the hardware that's being used to render the live stream fairly early in the live stream. Uh, well, I guess I need to move that coffee cup to see what I'm looting. I believe where I am is in a control point where uh, I found a stock room. Nearby hostage situation detected. Great. But unfortunately, uh, before I attend to that hostage situation, if I'm going to attend to it, I think what I'm actually going to do is what I was planning on doing was heading towards DC. I don't know if I'm going to keep with that tonight. Uh, this is uh, the third episode of a three part arc in the Accounting of Third Measure series. So, it's the last episode before I cut over. Tomorrow night I'll be cutting over to VR. And I am going to uh, be playing Project Cars 2 using my Windows Mixed Reality headset. I'm a little nervous about how far I've tuned down this uh, voiceover commentary, so let me just double check it and make sure it's still... it's not too low. Alright, voiceover commentary sounds fine. I turned up the, uh... Hostage situation nearby. Turned up the in-game, um... I just got a mask. I don't know why it, uh... I 
Mask isn't really of any consequence. Let's, uh, so probably all my gear is good to go. I do want to make a decision on what weapons I want to arm, though. Alright, so let's go with the G36. I really got to get back around. Uh, I've lost track on how exactly I'm supposed to handle mods in this game. Alright, we will keep with that. And then for my sidearm, I will go with the Magnum. So this, okay, so this has, are the iron sights actually, so they're actually equipped, uh, oh no, I don't want to do that, uh, yeah, so what's weird in this, and I haven't quite figured it out, is some mods seem to auto-arm, now this can use those iron sights, but now in this, what I, what I seem to have lost is there is a grip mod or something that I have, an under barrel and I see everything arming except that thing, it was like a magazine yeah, some type of magazine mod that I'd done No, I don't. Okay. And none of these have any. seem to have any skin slots. Or I don't have any skins that would modify them. I guess this is what it is. Nearby hostage situation detected. So uh, let's decide where we're going tonight. This is our last radio contact with Espinoza. There's hyenas all over the. So I've completed all the primary missions and all the side missions here. Uh, there's SHD tech available in the White House or in the White House district. So that's where I was headed last night. I think I'm going to stick with that. Which means I, uh... Oh, that's right. I'm at a control point. Hi, Agent. Oh, so that's what that caution symbol is. And maybe it's a caution symbol. I've seen that caution symbol when I'm on the ground as well. Friendly control point nearby. Box. Hopefully we will procure some additional loot. So I'm not exactly certain on uh, how long I'm going to live stream tonight. Maybe to 115 or so, so we'll probably be up for about an hour and a half. Hostage situation nearby. That was just uncool. Vaccines now. One thing that I will say is I appreciate that they don't like put it in your face too much, but I'm completely oblivious to what the actual apocalypse was that happened here. I have no idea. Those are bad guys. And I am totally going to jump them. Time to put an agent. 
Bro. Oh. Bro. Man. That's some straight tactical magic there. Nearby hostage situation. Just joking. Detected. I am starting to feel a bit like a hero though. Which means I guess I'm getting decent gear. Now what I'm not certain of or clear on is where is this SHD tech that is in Getting ice straight out here. this zone. Conflict. Oh, there's projects and stuff here too. Underground entrance. Yep. Still exploring a little Food bit in DC. Detected. Nothing to see here. Go for a sandwich. Okay, sorry I dipped out there, but I did uh, I didn't think about it at the time, but I did want to do one more audio mix balance check during that firefight and things sound like they're pretty well balanced, so I don't think I need to futz around with the uh, hardware mixer anymore. So I'll probably run do my rundown of the streaming hardware here probably right now. Whoa, what is all that? Who's popping off? I did not realize that this was like a hunting rifle. Now oh, there's your boy. Headshot! I don't know why I always feel like running over the bodies as if... Like it's uncharted or something like everybody does a loot drop. But that unfortunately is not the case. I kind of sometimes wish that it was. By I really... Well, if it's guarded by hostiles, why are we playing this such happy music? Seems kind of silly! that no one saw me just then.
but we'll take it. Headshot with the Magnum. Oh. It's kind of funny, so I had a G36 before. Alright. Get them with my bird. Blast it! I wasn't going to get away from that. <laughs> this is like, take it like a champ. I gotta remember, I, one of my problems is I have this reluctance to uh, switch quickly between a ton of weapons, because I'm used to like sticking with what my general shtick is, sticking with one weapon until I have to cycle through a reload, and then I swap, but the problem in this game is you actually need, in the course of one, uh, set piece of combat, you might actually need to switch between all three weapons as the enemy ranges uh, shift. Perimeter secured, and another med pack, that's always helpful. Alright, let's quickly do some inventory management here. So one of the extra pieces of gear that I am playing with tonight is I am playing with uh, the Ala AU881 Excalibur Mini Mechanical Gaming Keyboard, which seems to be a fairly uh, popular video, my hands-on video of it on the channel. Alright, so let's go with that. And the ACR. And switch to the X45. Now, I should also, should be able to put some mods on here. That one won't work. That one will, however. Yeah, at one point I modded, I had a magazine mod, and I don't know what happened to it. I wonder if I sold a weapon that had it mounted at the time. So now all I have are these sights. And that's fine. Whoa, 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 why does this not have the sight on it? Or does it? Yeah, it does. I don't know why, is it, why it doesn't present on this main page. Now, what new weapon is it saying that I haven't taken a look at? Ooh, a classic M60. Very nice. Probably also doing myself a disservice by only being willing to swap between my level 7 weapons now. So that blocks me off from a number of... choice pieces of gear that might actually be helpful even though they're not max damage. It's one of the things I kind of hit upon last night, which is just arming up to max damage is not necessarily the optimal loadout. Because a, 
lot of times there are really good pieces of gear that uh, you, a lot of what I was doing was I was always arming whatever weapons uh, did the max damage, but there's really a tactical impact difference in this game uh, between loading, you know, weapons with max damage versus uh, magazine size versus speed. Medical camp attack. Great, 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 great. Uh, I don't want to go with the turret just yet. Coming at you. No, no, you don't. Let's get that reloaded as quickly as possible. Now, the medical camp shouldn't solely be bounded by... Oh, what is that? Was I spotted? <laughs> Gotta shoot quickly! Arm the turret. It. Come on, arm that weapon up. Oh, I guess I'm gonna head. Uh, I hate still having thrown out that turret. Get over there and give them support, Agent. Now nah, I'm gonna miss not having that turret. I get hit by. Okay, so this is good. It's treating it like a mission respawn, so. Ah, uh, frickin' sniper. Blast it! How am I missing the blasted gas tank? Come on, come on. Well, at least this time. Seem to not be getting shot at this time. Oh! Now we're catching some fire. Alright, let's try and put a turret out this time. Great. Let's reload while I'm blinded. Oh! Immediate medical assistance needed. Are you kidding me? Getting housed. Not cool. That is twice that I have been one shot killed. Or something near that equivalent. No, 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 no. Think I'm gonna make things up close and personal this time. Flipping! 
grenade. <laughs> Agent deceased. Ouch. Yeah, let's think about it better than that then, I guess. It's not gonna work. shot kill uh, threats there's got to be a way to like flank these guys or something right All night. That approach did work a little better, though. Get ready to die. Again, we're going to try the up close to personal approach. Oh, nope. Just not going to make that. Trying to make the rush up the right hand side. It's getting downright preposterous. Not fun. that I wonder if that's like the mission area I uh, disease is somebody firing like a rocket launcher or something an RPG it must just there must be a threat on the map or something I'm just not recognizing all right, let's try and take it up the gut this time. Please tell me that's a, that's a restock. Okay, let's try the bird again. I don't think that, uh... Flipping A. Agent final signs. Zero. Let's try and get another restock. Might have the right idea though. If I can blind him with a bird and then get up there and get a turret down. Bird. Get my turret. Oh, he can't 
Where with the turret? Vital signs critical. Agent killed. Angry. Fine, whatever. It's the restock. Okay. Watch my bird, man. One. I don't understand what was going on with not. It looked like the bird was getting thrown or something. from cover a dozen times before. I don't understand why it's not throwing now. This is getting ridiculous and it's making me angry. No, don't stand next to serious trauma detected. Agent killed. It's the indicator of the level <laughs> requirement for this side mission. I wonder if I'm doing something goofy that I shouldn't be trying. Really starting to make me angry. Alright, we'll go right side this time. Come on. Stock and go left side. Let's try not to hit my special next time. Who the heck 
I need to figure out who is hitting me as I try and mount the stairs. Maybe. And yeah, I think one of the problems is I'm fixating on trying to Take out the trash before focusing on the guy on the turret. Jeez! Agent final signs zero. You're definitely just not thinking about this the right way. All right, let's. Restock and try a right side approach this time. A bunch of weapons ammo. So I guess it seems like they always uh, restock you with specials. Problems. I'm still trying to evaluate who the real threats are here. I'm thoroughly confused why hitting these fuel tanks is not taking these guys out. even in range. Shoot me through. Blast it. Maybe that's what the problem is because I've been hitting. Frick. Come on. Blast it. 
Damn, these guys are super. Look at how much HP he has. Where, like, the only thing that's hurting him is a headshot. I don't think I can pull this off. Barrels are blowing up. Absolutely infuriating. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to bypass this mission. I don't know. Final signs. Zero. I mean, I, I guess what I can try doing is I can try. But I mean, that thing does 2,100 damage, and it's not still not doing it. And then I do have. I do wish... I wish you could sort this by max damage, because these level 7s aren't necessarily my most damaging weapons, so... There's a 1600 here. I guess I could just look for the greens. 1600. Let's try going to that one, then. Does it have any mods I can apply? We'll do iron sights on that one. Uh, and then this one should have scope. Yep. Okay. All right. We will restock and try and go right side. I feel like there's some trick. To this and like I said I feel it's like you need to figure out a way to rush the side but this thing I had a reaching that it won't let you take cover okay Take one more shot at this. Going up the gut. Ah! There's like no place to take cover. I know I said one more time, but I really meant one more time after this time. <laughs> There's no really good place to take cover as part of the problem. Kids shoot. What the fuck? Medical assistance needed. Agent killed. Now I don't even feel like talking. I'm just getting awed up. Seems like whenever I go for loot. Oh, what the? Serious trauma detected. Agent. No signs. Zero. 
And in fact, the only reason I really came over here was because I wanted to check out the uh, underground tunnel. It's totally preposterous to me that I cannot I'm hitting this is it not doing any damage to him at all? It's not doing any damage to him at all. Like I don't understand that. The one thing I will say is uh Yeah, I just realized that marker is like It's like a raid. I don't think I have any hope of actually accomplishing that, so I'm going to head back to the underground entrance, which is what I came over here to check out in the first place. Should have never actually taken that mission on. It's a huge waste of my time. Uh, where's the underground entrance? Yep, and I... Oh, come on. I guess it just needs to pop me out of the mission instance. Yep, and I am not strong enough to help you out. No, don't put me in the medical camp attack. Where's the underground entrance, though? That's what I want. Seems like I should be right on top of it. Oh, here we go. Now I'm mainly coming in here because I'm hoping some of these SHD tech drop thingies are in here. So what I did is just I just made a colossal waste of time that I discovered underground entrance. Huh. Really Oh great. This should be more up my alley though. should do is change my weapon loadout because I kind of tried to jimmy it specifically for that mission. Alright, let's go with the shoddy. And then look at weapon slot 2. Go with the SVD. I'll stick with the X45. Let's see how we want to mod this up. Those don't work. That does? Okay, fine. And then can I put anything on that thing? Iron sights do not work. So I can put the... That's weird. So I can... Huh! I never knew that. So you can put scopes and iron sights on as many instances of stuff that you want. It's very interesting. So 
Uh, so one question I have is, but does... Does this thing... This, it doesn't support the iron sights. Neither, I think, does the... Ah, frip. And it does not support the iron sights. But that's interesting, so you can put the scope on both. Never realized that. Access to loot. Okay, there's one of your SHD techs. Two more to find in this area, and then I'll pretty much consider myself done with the Washington District. Now this is territory control, so I'm a little bit worried about monkeying around with the hardware slideshow, but we will go ahead and slide into that. Talk a little bit about the hardware that's being used to render the live stream tonight. So while I'm, while I'm waiting to see that pull up on my screen, uh, for the gaming PC tonight, I am playing on. What just happened? Oh, I just hit inventory. Okay, we can go ahead and equip that. Uh, I am playing on what I refer to as Desktop 3, or the Secondary Studio PC. Which is powered by an Intel Core i7 7700K CPU, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and an GeForce GTX 1070 card. AIB, made by Gigabyte control point over there. Yep, I see ya. It's a side mission. We got some territory control stuff here. Four SHD techs. It seems like that's just going to be never ending, so decide if I want to stick with this or roll. Yeah, I'm actually going to stick Get a roll. Briggs over at American History. Level Level eight. Briggs. We've got us a hyena big shot. This is our last radio contact. What level am I? I think I'm seven. Yep. So I'm not going to take up that level eight Command. mission yet. This is our Command. This is oh, our this last. This is a level five. Espinoza. There's hyenas. The priorities are to locate Espinoza and get that shade node reactivated. Shade. Isaac will guide you where you need to go. Espinoza reported a substantial hyena presence. We don't know exactly what they're doing here, but assume they're going to be in your way. All right, so this is my uh, official jaunt over and into the Jefferson Trade, C Trade Center zone. Air controlled by the two sons. Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. I don't think that, uh... See if I can get the drop on these guys. Uh, really? Wow, okay. door
Thank you for blowing that up. Somebody behind me? Oh, there's loot there. Oh, am I able to fire the flare here? Yes, I can. Reinforcements en route. Uh, yeah, in an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 AIB made by uh, Gigabyte. New Mac. Uh, get roof. No, don't get by the gas can. <laughs> Bad guy? Okay, get the bird out. Get him on the run. You just don't need him as much. Where are those friendly reinforcements? They sure seem to be taking their time. Alright, what is that? Caught me off guard, that will not happen again. A bad guy over here. Yeah. I want to close on him to where I can get this shoddy out. Object of interest detected. It wasn't the smartest thing to have, uh... You wanna get buried in that, Agent? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, that works. Friendlies just show up? Okay, good. What? Uh. All right, so it looks like that worked. Friendly takeover in progress. Okay, so uh, yeah, having the uh, scope, while it's funny, uh, having the scope mounted uh, on that is uh, not good. <laughs> uh, that's really weird. So, what the... Like, I just would have never known that a red dot sight, I guess, comes with this gun? Four fifty-seven. So that's the best thing I have available for the mask. Yeah, I just never knew that this thing had a red dot sight. Hostile broadcast detected. Turn right for search. <laughs> Is that a bad guy? Seems like. Control point detected. That didn't seem like the right thing to do.
Well, yes, I will take that. I'm definitely, I'm gonna have to figure out. Great. It's not the best way to get myself inventory time. Get it loaded. Take it in a blanket. Fuck in a barrel, whatever the saying is. Let's go get my loot first. Oh, come on. Nope, don't do that. Hostile control point detected. Oh, you didn't pick that up? Alright. Uh, apparently he didn't pick that up either. Okay, so I guess what I was trying to get through before is, uh, yeah, so that's the streaming PC, and then for uh, the actual studio gear tonight, the capture card I'm using is the one that you see on your screen now. Yeah, I really don't like uh, possible key remapping that I should do is um, putting my weapon slots on the number keys. Great. Nice. Shot, he's rolling now with that red dot sight. So I'm not leaving any loot behind here. So what I don't understand, uh, let's go back to... What is this about the character? Let's go back to the inventory screen. So, one thing I don't understand here... If I go into mods, so that... So VX1 scope, T2 micro, red dot sight. I guess that red dot sight is another... Maybe, but is that the same thing as the iron sights? 
Can't go into that. It's weird. So I guess maybe that's just... Uh, what I thought was... Iron sights is... No? I mean, you actually have stuff here. Like, I don't understand why it doesn't present. Just really weird. Okay. Fine, whatever. I guess I just have to, uh... Like, manually check... All these different slots. Which just doesn't make a whole heck of a lot of sense. I guess I'll just proceed with these weapons since I just went through all that. 846. 592. Okay. Hostile control point. No. I don't think there's anything I can do. The quartermaster in the base of operations, so when I go back, I guess I will. No gear to. I guess I'll have some tech things to trade in for new skills. So for a capture card tonight, what I'm using is the uh, Hoppage HD PVR60, which you see on the screen there, which is a uh, USB 3.0 capture card capable of capturing in 1080p at 60 frames per second. It uh, can be used in both standalone mode and with PC. It has an SD card slot in the front for use in standalone mode. A uh, capture button for uh, quickly taking screenshots and recording to the SD card. Three and a half millimeter front panel ports for a headset if you're playing on console and uh, and your game controller to uh, get your party chat into the live stream. Switches on the right side panel for putting it in iOS mode and also switching it from PC to standalone mode. Pretty neat card. It's been pretty remarkably stable and has performed uh, remarkably well in the uh, two or three weeks of testing that I've had it under. I'm still going to use it in testing tomorrow when I uh, play Project, ooh, Project Cars 2 in VR on the same system. Will be what I uh, switch the live stream over to tomorrow once I complete this arc of an accounting of third measures. Hostiles guarding location nearby. Yep, I see you. Everybody's just lining up. Oh, winged him. Oh, that's just uncalled for. skirmish over here to the right because I feel like the person who fired that rocket launcher is still up and around somewhere. Maybe I could be wrong. It's unfortunate. No loot drops.
Why's it gotta be like that? Nothing on here? No bad guys, huh? Jefferson Trade Center, SHD Shade Mission, Story Enemy Level 5. Uh, for a webcam tonight, I am using the Zoom Q2N. Last radio contact with Espinoza came from a parking garage close to the Shade Node. Isaac has a location. So I think I should get rid of the SVD since that's not going to do me a lot of good in close quarters combat. Seven hundreds also. Let's go with the Aug A3. Let's equip it and see what mods are available. Yeah, we'll go. See, that's like I don't see it listed anywhere. I I would have never known that I had four different sites. I don't see that like in my master mod inventory. But yeah, let's go. Go with the streamline iron sights. It's already equipped, actually, so we'll keep that. Nothing can go there, and nothing there. That's fine. I did switch it, right? Right. Okay. Trade the Trade Center. Uh, so for web, for a webcam tonight, I'm using the Zoom Q2N handy video camera, which is a camera that's really made for I guess uh, semi-professional musicians. Really used for recording session, studio recording sessions, and. Uh, Small venue performances. Has a high grade uh, condenser microphone array sitting there on top of the camera. And uh, really designed at its core to function as a standalone camera, like I said, for recording those studio sessions, but uh, they also offer integration with a PC over USB. It's not good. She's gonna rush you. using that uh, high-grade uh, microphone array. Uh, I do sometimes use it in live streams, but I'm not using it. Uh, that's nice. I feel like I can't get a grenade over there. Let's see what you did there. I got one for you, too. Ouch, she got hurted. <laughs> there we go. Let's go ahead and heal up. Drops. Oh no, I ran right by it. Come on, come on. Let's go right. Uh, for 
audio tonight, I am routing everything through the Behringer Xenix 302 USB hardware mixer. Oh, nope. Ah, frip a drone. No, no what are you doing? There's some health packs up there. I'm really getting sick of how many of those things they seem to have. by her own uh, frickin' drones. Things are aggravating. Uh, so you can see there what I'm doing is uh, I'm taking audio out of the Sound Blaster Omni sound card on the gaming PC over an analog wire, a uh, three and a half millimeter to uh, RCA jack splitter, which is what's no, running video. into the left side. We're under attack! Intruders in the east entrance! Then kill them! What the fuck? Into the mixer! <laughs> so fucking kill them! Which is what's going into the left hand side of the mixer there. And then on the right hand side, I have the leads for my Razor. Man of War Destiny 2 Tournament Edition headset. And that's what I'm actually using to listen to the in game audio myself tonight, as well as. Uh, the boom microphone extension. of gear that I am using tonight in the live stream setup. Thank goodness for that additional health pack. For two additional health packs. I need to get that additional one that's up there as well. I think I did. Okay. Come on. Some dookie right there is the uh, Elgato Stream Deck, which uh, I built this slideshow and tied it in with it. I really want a Stream Deck XL, and so <laughs> I've been diligently uh, doing some projects to try and uh, make sure that I'm using it. 
Speeding back to the maximum extent. Need to pop a turret. Please tell me that turret is on them up. I think it is, but I think they're dead already. Too quick. Now, can you... Yeah, I want to say... Yeah, but I can't. Can't recover it, unfortunately. Whoa! Except for I uh, got a trailer. Wait, whoa, what is that? Resistance than I planned for. Tried to play it. Rambo! Uh, yeah, so I really want to stream deck XL, but uh, one of the things is since I left Twitch, and I'm actually trying to get my Twitch channel reactivated uh, just to use it as like a kind of like as a little mini recording studio, because the only thing is that um, there are more. Uh, enhancements or like studio tricks I can play uh, with the Elgato uh, Stream Deck for production. And so what I'm thinking is when I would normally do game captures and not do live streams, um, that I would uh, do those on my Twitch channel and be able to do some additional things with the Stream Deck integration uh, to slightly justify the cost of going to a Stream Deck XL. Okay, I'm not sure how you're supposed to get down there. Hmm. It does say. Okay. Didn't really know that that's how that was going to work, but okay. So and then all that equipment is running over to the streaming PC, which I say running over, but really the streaming PC is actually right over there. Either one is a reason for his motherfucking friends to come in here and smoke all of us. Apparently set off a bunch of secondary explosions too, I gotta like that. I really wish this uh, weapon had like an ACOG side or something on it. I don't know if I missed that as an available power up. Let me check it. F E. I'll just E it out. Get out of that. Let's. Uh, should I put? Yeah, let's go with the scope. Tell me that actually on because I don't see it on the weapon. Blast it! Not entirely super happy with this. Uh, oh, because I didn't equip it. Just need something. I, I like the additional reload speed that the. Uh, oh, what was that? I find out where you are. I also don't like that it doesn't seem like I'm able to adjust the uh active shade making nearby. 
That's probably the node. The uh, firing I speed, I would like to it. be able to put these things on single shot like you can in Rainbow Six and some other games. That's the shade node. Let's get the that thing first. Hopefully this is all clear. Loot. I guess I'm full here. It's normally what that indicates. Locate the Isaac node. I feel bad I made this cup of coffee. I have not taken one sip of it tonight. I also feel bad that I stupidly wasted a lot of time running that raid when I had no hope of actually completing it. Especially since this, this is the final session of this tonight and tomorrow. Changing job credentials. Authenticate. There should be a terminal that'll let you reactivate the node. Well, seems like a pretty neat little progression hitch here. I like that M4 carbine too. Authorization granted. Please stand by. Intelligent system analytic computer. Nice. All Isaac subsystems operational. That was the last step to getting Isaac fully restored locally. But we have a ways to go before we can celebrate. And a missing agent to locate. Continue your sweep of the complex. Great. Hostile radio intercepted. Hello? Is this the division? Looking for someone? Who is this? How are you on this channel? A friend of yours gave me a real nice wristwatch. He's right here. Want to talk to him? Great. If you want him back, we can make a deal. You back off. Deliver him unharmed. Mostly. Let's juggle some more inventory here. Stupid. Just find that hyena piece of shit and waste her. <laughs> yep, we'll go with the M249, so let's equip that in slot one. Because half the fun is all the gun porn in a game like this. And, yep, let's go with the Super 90. And we'll equip that. And then go with the Magnum. Now, let's check this out. Well, yeah, put the scope on that one. Anything else that I have? So you, it's already got it. Nope, it doesn't. So put the short grip on there. And then on two. Yep, let's go with the red dot sight. short grip. It's also weird to me how it, uh, yeah, because bo both, both of those have occupied upgrade slots or mod slots. That's fine. I don't think I really have any mod slots. Nope, you can actually put the red dot sign on there. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome that uh, putting the red dot sight on one does not preclude putting it on the other. So that's pretty awesome. All right, let's get it. I 
Uh, but the streaming PC, which actually tonight is actually uh, desktop one or my primary gaming PC. Uh, is powered by an AMD Ryzen 7 2700X CPU with 24 gigabytes of RAM. So no improvements there. And powered by an NVIDIA RTX 2070 from EVGA, an XC Gamer. question is, does this long scope give me any bit of good? I think it is, a little bit. Some of these longer engagements. I am getting hit right now though. So I think I am going to actually take it off. Mod. Uh, put the micro... Come on, get out of that. Worked out very lucky. Yo. So I think what I need to do is throw a turret. Surprise, monkey tucker. Are you get killed by the turret? Oh! Get some! Move, move around. I'm confused. Woo! I know, I know, I know, I'm hitting it. Come on, come on, come on. Get the drone, get the drone! Jeez. back there. Get out of that, get out. Oh, really, what do we have here? Jerk. That works. 
worked out. I can't tell if this is the purple. Alright, so that seems to have quieted down all that noise. I was about to say, that would be really surprising to me if there was just absolutely no loot in this area. Why? Oh, it requires a hyena's key to open it. Hostile radio intercepted. Don't really entirely understand all that. Hey guys, I'm still willing to deal, but you better decide fast. I don't know how much more this dude can take. She's goading you to try to make you reckless. Just stay focused. Now this is where we get into a little bit of the... It's the Destiny-like thing where... I really just don't want to exit the mission right now. Because I don't know that it's going to reset me right back at the same spot. And with all my progress, I know... If I get killed, I'd reset here, but I don't necessarily know that's the case if I actually bounce out of the game. Frick. 
got him. Locked out. Last minute save. No health packs though. So hopefully SV is somewhere around here. What is that? It's 25 water. Not through there. Okay, I see it. So we're going a little bit over longer tonight than I had planned. It's fine. Uh, okay. Panel. Great. Final battle area and no health packs. Be in our what was all that noise? Agent Bible signs. Zero. You didn't have to die here. Really? Well, time to rain some fire and make some righteousness. No grenades, great bird. Blind it. <laughs> Drop there or a health pack. Could be both. Get a turret out, please. Have a turret. You do. Drop it. Need that. Oh. All right, good. The drone blue. Uh, I don't need to be near that. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Alright, move, 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 blast it! Ah! <laughs> I didn't know a drone was going to come down the steps like that. At least it's going to respawn me right back in the same mission area, so all will not be lost, hopefully. Is it going to be a complete reset? I don't think I'm going to get... Agent Bible signs, zero. Alright, there's that health pack. Why is it not giving me that? Oh, because it's saying I already have four because of the respawn. Oh, what's going on? Come on. Ah, don't get hung up on that. No, 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 no. Don't. Ah. Alright, let's get some shoddy action going here. Oh, that's not good. Oh, why is he not able to mount all that? That's a drone, dude. Man, that wasn't a drone, dude. That was just a purple. Ah, come on. No, you are not. Don't get me in the reload. All kinds of out of whack right now. Uh, let's go back to the saw. What to say? How the heck am I not shooting him in the back while he's climbing up the dam? Why is everybody deadly accurate all of a sudden? No, don't jump. Take cover. Oh, is that my drone up there? My turret up there? Let's go get some ammo here. Tell me I have a grenade. I do. Hop in! Boom! Got him! There is a health pack down there, by the way. What is...
one. It's a cover. Now what I want to get is I want to get that health pack and I don't... Okay, okay, good, 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 good. get off the... Alright, here we go. Is that a purple up there? Nope. It's just the, uh... Okay, he's down. Come on, one more, I think. No respawn zone. So I gotta chase some peeps. Open the door, buddy. Now what I worry about is uh, I'm gonna get forced to... Great. never works out well. But, uh, no! Go over the freaking thing! Get! Ah! It was just dismantling is just... I think she's dead already. That's what dropped that stuff, right? Duck. <laughs> well, let's not stand around and pander in our glory for too long. Where'd he go? He was just right here. Ah, uh, yeah, somebody who's ah. Uh, in the gut for the final. Really need to arm the shoddy. Oof. Shade tech? Really? Did it really give me plus 10 shade tech? I gotta see that to believe it. Wow, alright. That's some big loot. Alright, before... Because every once in a while when you leave a mission area... They put a bunch of dudes right in your face. When you're low on health. So, let's... Um, do some inventory management before we step out of the house. Anything better? Nope, nothing better there. But we did pick up some new weapons. Any level 7 stuff? Doesn't look like any level 7 stuff drop that's new. SMG 9, SAS 12. Already had the covert SRS. I like get another one. Alright, let's change the weapons loadout. This is partially uh, as the just in case when I step out, but also. So, yeah, we'll arm up the G36. And that SRS. And then for a sidearm, 
I will keep with the Magnum. Now it already has, yeah, it's got a red dot sight sitting on top. So for the, uh, did that do the... I don't think that's what... No, because I was supposed to have the G36 in slot one. And then that was going to... That was going to be slot two. Let's check mods available. Nope, I don't like that view because it doesn't do what I want it to do. So let's initially go with the scope on that one. And then, yeah, I can use short grip. Nothing there. Nope. Let's see. Do, do, do. So let's go with the red dot. Ah, frick. Bounced out, double tapped it. Doesn't look like you can use the underbar there, so that's all we can go with. That's fine. Yeah, I guess I could fast travel, but uh, removes half the fun. I'm already going to get no sleep as it is. So like I said, tomorrow I am going to switch up and start playing some VR. So I'll be playing Project Cars 2 with my uh, Windows Mixed Reality headset, the Acer AH10. Yeah, that's what I'm... Ah! Just totally just... <laughs> now I get seen. Rip. No, I'm not the idiot. Stand your ground law here. No, you don't! Don't you blow that thing up in my face! No, do not run. Don't make me chase you. Alright. And then uh, the day after VR night, which will be tomorrow, like I said, uh, it will be new video game day. The frick is that? Raccoon. <laughs> um, and new video game day is kind of moving around a little bit now. I was. Targeting. Seems like that AR does like uh, location specific damage. That dude looked like he was limping away. Nice. I like this loadout. Got another health pack, so that's going to be a nice help to get back. What is that? Yeah, I don't have time for you guys. Unless you got a bead on me specifically. It sounds like you guys are over there skirmishing with some civilians. Detected. From the control point in proximity. Uh, so, when I was originally lining up for new video game day, I was looking strongly at uh, Total War Three Kingdoms for PC. And then 
review scores for Assetto Corsa Competizione slipped in, and I was uh, given that strong consideration. Uh, I don't actually know where this thing is taking me. Is it taking me all the way back to DC? Because I could have just held up here and done this uh, whenever I play next, but that's fine. It's only 1,300 feet, so I'm good. There's so many damn mosquitoes. That's good, guys? Yes. So this may just be a cakewalk for the rest of the way anyway. Uh, but now I'm looking at a uh, tactical RPG which just dropped on PC. I think it's called Fatal Seal. Which is a little JRPG, which is not my normal fare. But when it comes to, t but I do really like tactical RPGs. So even though JRPG stuff isn't really in my wheelhouse, I will still go in on something like Fire Emblem. And this seems uh, a little bit similar. No matter how tired I am. Tell me about it. That's how I felt tonight for tonight's live stream. So I don't think since um, tomorrow's VR session is so short, I, I do need to give some thought. I don't know that I'm going to break out the wheel and pedals for it. It'll be my first time playing Project Cars 2 because I don't, I guess I have Project Cars 2 for PlayStation. I don't have it for, P I'll be picking it up for PC. Um, so I may just uh, play with the uh, Xbox 360 wired controller tomorrow. And I'm going to be playing uh, on the same PC with the stri same streaming PC, so I don't have to go through a lot of herky jerky. Step back. It should be easy. What's your fucking problem? Just leave, man. We don't want any trouble. You want to see what I can do? Guys, maybe we should just leave. Yeah, I've already seen this before though. DC color. Oh, maybe I haven't seen this one yet. Footage GTF coming from outside DC. So, is it tell me? Uh, Amos and Simon's Project Bounties, yep. So, I guess this is just stuff that I've progression stuff that I've knocked down. I don't remember this page being here before. Could just be because I've never actually... ...completed anything. Okay. Yeah, we can do that some other night. Uh, yeah, I know. I've already modded weapons before, so that's not new. Speak with Manny Ortega. 
All right, well, that's going to do it for tonight's live stream. Thanks so much for anybody who happened to swing by. I do appreciate you. If you happen to be watching the archive version of this after the live stream, I appreciate you as well. Please feel free to like the video, and uh, if you want, subscribe to the channel. That way you will be notified whenever I go live and uh, whenever I post new content. It makes it easy. Uh, I do fully intend to live stream tomorrow. Again, I'll be playing uh, Project Cars 2 in VR is my plan. Uh, I don't expect, I personally, we're, we are, our E3 coverage for the E2KG Network podcasting channel has already started. Uh, we, a lot, bunch of us sat in, well, I mean, via YouTube, and observed the Google, Google Stadia events, and we will have a lot to talk about um, for the first E3 podcast, which will probably be Sunday night or Monday, uh, along with the Xbox press conference, which goes down on Saturday, on Sunday. So... There is some E3 activity going on tomorrow. Uh, I, don't, I don't plan on watching the EA show live. The only thing they're going to reveal that is new, as far as what we know, is uh, Jedi Fallen Order, and that's something... That's a 30-minute spot. I can catch up on that after the fact. Uh, starting Sunday, though, we will be watching everything live. So, And then the uh, two, our two E3 podcasts will be next week. And in the meantime, like I said, I'll be playing Project Cars VR and picking up a new game for New Video Game Day on Sunday. Um, And uh, I may get started on it then. It may be a little bit later because depending on how timing goes, if I knock down my VR sessions pretty quickly uh, tomorrow, then I may be uh, starting on Free Space 2, which is a, a nostalgia play for me on PC before starting in on whatever new game I pick up on Sunday. So that's going to do it for me. Again, thanks so much for joining in. Uh, Until next time, happy hunting. Stay safe out there. Take care of yourself. Play the games that you like and stream the games that you love if you do that sort of a thing. Uh, Catch up with me for uh, new content this weekend, again in VR and with uh, new video game day. And then check out the E2KG Network Podcasting channel, also on YouTube, for our E3 uh, coverage. And with that, uh, good night, good luck, and good gaming. That's going to do it for me. I'm out.